Hi folks, well I got the uh, house finished, <laughs> well the outside anyway, um, I've got a dilemma about what I'm going to do on the inside because what I'm going to do is the cages I've already got, I'm going to put some of them inside and put a bench over the top, um, I did think about putting some budgies in but I can't, um, but I'm going to put a bench on top of that now, uh, and, but I've, the dilemma I've got is whether to build new cages just to cross back 50 deep, these are 60 deep and I can't get two in side by side. I could stack two, but uh, so I'm th I'm thinking about like cannibalising them cages and putting something in back that fits just across back fifty deep, two meters wide, and uh, redoing it like that. So I've got two spare cages basically for axlings or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> Too many males, <laughs> sick birds, whatever. Uh, but anyway. Uh, I harvested my shallots as well, which is a bonus. They did all right. It's raining now like crazy. And uh, a quick look at eggs. I've put them on shut down. I've separated them. Uh, well, day 13, day 14. It was sort of half a day when I did them, so, uh, which was yesterday. And uh, it's nice to be nice, and I'll get on with it. So, guys, that's that finished. Well, finished. Outside's finished. I've got to put a handle on it and shutting system. I'll put all that concrete board around that's nice and level it's wired behind it that one's the only one that's not because on the door because um we slay our white door separate i'm thinking how i'm going to fit them cages in. i've got them cages uh i was thinking about putting some budgies in here but apparently here you can't because the budgies poop and the quail might eat it so you're not allowed to have flame birds and ground birds in the same area this is a harvest, small, medium, yeah, large. Um, I think I think there were 14 bulbs I planted, and I've got I think there's 75. I think there's 75. It's 75 or around 80 bulbs back. So now, as much as I'd like to save some of these, I probably won't. So what I will do is the ones that I can, I'll. Um, I've got to peel them, but I'll plait these into into a plait. I mean, I've got loads of onions this year, which failed last year with onions. Well, didn't fail all together, but I didn't get many. <laughs> About ten, I think, twenty maximum. But these will go all year. Well, these won't, but the onions will. They'll do quite well this year with a bit of damage on odd one. I'll have to check that out. So guys, day 13, I've stopped these eggs from turning, um, just took them out of the turn, I'll show you how I've organised them, these are clean trays, the one at the back there has got 10 in it now, one of them eggs burst, that were the old eggs, and it was a bit smelly, so hopefully it hadn't affected others, they obviously weren't touching them, um, the ones in the middle, they're the main lot from the cage where Rasputin always were, and that's Rasputin's dirty weekend. So any eggs that remain in them, after I shall be able to tell what percentage I've got. And as they're in that order I've just explained, I'll remember, I'll put the top down. That's what you call a piece of meat. <laughs> 